completing the remaining items of the close community agreement. We're on track to keep 500 of the 700 acres as restricted and open land and undeveloped. Master plan special permit has evolved somewhat, but retains the essential elements of the original agreement that the town made with the developer 10 years ago. At this point in the Legacy Farms Marathon, we're at the top of Heartbreak Hill. It starts now to be a race to the finish. Pulte Homes has got secondary road and other infrastructure networks to complete on the north side and 425 homes to sell. We're looking forward to the many marathon, many miles left in our marathon. Site plan reviews for the 180 restricted units, the commercial site, next to the assisted living units is, is available. The reuse of the house at the corner of Legacy Farms Road North and East Main Street, and hopefully the Village Farms, or Legacy Farms Village Center commercial development in the near future. That's the south side. We, we, um, it's bisected. The property is bisected by East Main Street, Route 135, which runs right through here. So we're right here now in the Western Nursery property. The south side, for Pulte's purposes, are pretty well completed. The new area, the north side, is up here. So this is the new road that we're opening today. Almost two miles of roadway. It's, it's very significant. And then these little green areas with the brownish dots, those are our projected new homes. So it's been truly a community, private, public partnership throughout. The grant has been very helpful with MassWorks. I think the I think the MassWorks committee, I think the governor's office for that. But beyond that, I think the cooperation that we've had with the community as a whole, holding our feet to the fire to make sure we do what's right, but at the same time being cooperative and helping this come to fruition. It's not too often the community has 720 acres of land that it can work collaboratively with the developer to make sure it works for the developer from an economic point of view. But at the end of the day, to make sure it works correctly for the community, from a revenue point of view, from an architectural aesthetic point of view, and fitting within the community. And we really believe that that's worked well for the community, and frankly for us as well. Um, you have created a road. Just think about this for a minute. Uh, Boston is, uh, is the community that takes great pride for being a running community. You have created a road with potential access to a, to a, a trail system that is as good as any in eastern Massachusetts and maybe in, Mass in, in, in the entire state. And I, I don't take that lightly. This is an extremely active community. We have 300 people who belong to a Hopkin and Running Club in a town with 16,000 people. We have school kids that learn about, about the marathon and running and fitness and activities starting at the very early, early grades. So you have created, Roy, I, I can envision the day when the Kenyan athletes come here during the summer to train, that they train in Hopkinton and not on, the, on, and not on the Charles River in Boston. So thank you very much for that. This is, this is a good community, and I'm telling you, it's on its way to being a great community. Yeah, like, you know, credit Roy and certainly everyone that's been involved in that with the trails, with just the beautiful vistas that have been able to um, be uh, protected along with some other uh, goals of the community, such as meeting the 10% housing goal for affordable uh, housing, which is important not only as, a, as a, uh, an accomplishment, but also for the housing that it will provide um, to new residents to this community. Uh, it's such a wonderful place to live. Uh, all of us who live in this area know how wonderful it is, uh, and, and it's a growing area, certainly. And I think that's also worth recognizing when you develop 200 or 720 acres in an area like Metro West, which is really the epicenter of economic activity and growth in this state, uh, certainly in this region, uh, it adds even more uh, need for partnership, for forward thinking, and for really getting the details right. And it's really a credit to everyone in this room uh, and beyond for helping to do that. And even though this is just a 8,000 foot road. It's the, one of the biggest roads we've built in a long time. Last night I spent some time with Governor Baker and he made a point of saying that during his, his administration there are going to be more programs, more development, and more money going outside of Boston. And with the help of Karen and Carolyn, these initiatives have become quite evident locally 
when we see the mass pike tolling change and how smoothly that's that's gone the small bridges initiative which is helping westboro the lieutenant governor's compact with the town giving us additional resources for economic development and in projects like this a true public private partnership that's not only going to give us a, a nice road to relieve some traffic congestion downtown but to infuse us with some money for trails trees and an improvement downtown brought forth developers and, and the towns and cities have come to agreement about how much they're willing to put in how much skin they want to have in the game they've looked, brought in private developers and so they we see our dollars as being able to kind of close up the deal to come in in the back end and say okay this is what the public investment needs to be in order for a pulte or other private investors to put in their money um, and so this is i just want to highlight how this is certainly a, a perfect example of what hopkinson has accomplished uh, with the legacy farms north is precisely the type of projects that we are looking for you know in in the future uh, to continue funding not that there are a lot of there aren't a lot of great projects but with the limited dollars it's important for us to be able to put forth money that's going to immediately open up and unlock development um, three two one Ta -da. <laughs> <laughs>